Hey, this video isn't a news video. That's different. Um, I decided I wanted to try to branch out and do different types of videos. So here's a gameplay video and maybe a little bit of fence of why I don't think the Shermans are the worst. See here, I have a jumbo out and I've driven around the map to the uh, enemy side, sneak up behind them. They're currently capping B, so I wanted to take him. There was a tiger there, and I shot it, I missed. But he still didn't notice, which is good. So shoot him in the engine block. And this is a good reason why uh, Solid Shot is awful. It just takes forever for me to kill him. So while that's going on, I just want to say, Sharmans get a pretty bad rap for being awful tanks and over-tiered and all that. And honestly, I don't think they're that bad. I've had a few good games in them, and I like how their playstyle. I like their uh, very solid fronts. Like a hull down Sherman can block a lot of shells. Even had trouble penning Jumbos and a uh, Tiger, who is just right here. There's another reason why solid shot sucks. I aim for the ammo rack and it deflects. I guess it was too much of an angle and I couldn't really tell. And then I make a mistake and try to go in for the kill. I should have shot the turret, but I didn't. And yeah, shoot the uh, turret there now. A little late, fortunately. And couldn't reload in time to get a nice frontal shot. And he kills me. But, I still have more Shermans to take out, so here is the uh, M4A1 with the 76. This one, not so good. The uh, A1s, their bodies are awful, uh, they have no armor, and the only upside to a Sherman is its nice sloped frontal armor. And this one doesn't have any, so it's I, it's like a slow Hellcat, I guess. Um, oh, and here is a Panther that doesn't know how to aim. So the nice side of a Sherman and miss. Uh, take out his gunner, try to invade. Shoot him in the front a few more times. Can't pen him from anywhere else, so you have to shoot the turret until the gunner re um, restocks. And there you go, he's dead. But yeah, Shermans, I like them. I like them more in low tiers, though, with the 75s, because the issue with these Shermans, I wouldn't say that they're over tiered, it's more of just the compression gets far too bad. Or maybe not, it might not be the compression, but um, 5.0 games, or anywhere around there are really just 5.7 games, and if you have a 5.8 tank, you just have a bad 5.7 tank. And here's a sneaky stug that was trying to move in on the cap zone when we were capping. But yeah, I've had this experience all around because everybody loves the Tiger, and hey, I don't blame them. It, I like Tigers. They're good tanks. They are at a good uh, tier for them, and they're very iconic, so everyone's going to want to play them. But for anything around 5.0, uh, 5.3, anywhere around there, even 4.7, you're gonna always be up here to fight tigers and whatever else. Oh yeah, this is this is really funny. I couldn't uh, aim. I had to aim down sights because the aiming radical is getting thrown off by the fence. And as soon as I finally get a firing solution on him, he got one on me, and we kill each other. But, uh, I had a terrible uh, time in a Hellcat where I embarrassed myself in front of an Ostwin. Luckily, M19, I think this is called, is really good AA. Two Bofors at 5.0. Real good. I've had uh, some good experiences in it. Although it has no armor, that's not much of a big deal. Much better than the uh, British one that has a single Bofors and no armor. But yeah. I've been going around the uh, battlefield because I don't want to get... This is on a frontline tank. In fact, I wouldn't play any Sherman as a frontline tank because of 
uh, how unfortunate they are to fight against much stronger enemies. Like unless you're in a heavy tank, I guess maybe the jumbos. If you're if there's not as many tigers or if the terrain is just good enough to hide your body, your face is uh, your turret is strong enough to withstand uh, tiger shots, which is real good. Anyways, we got around here and you notice that there's still Cappy in our zone. Which, even though we just uh, recapped it, and then I hit this because I was not paying attention. The other thing is, they not they don't have very good situational awareness, so I'm able to sneak up right behind them, like so, and you'll see just what I do. What's also luckily is most of their main tanks have already died. So it's nothing too strong. There's a Panzer IV G, I believe. Unfortunately, he killed an ally before I could get to him. But, didn't save his life. And then there is a Cheeto over there. And while still having no armor, I guess the upside of the mid-tier Japanese medium tanks is that they're very open. So I have to go all the way over here and finish them off. Like so. Anyways, uh, we cap the zone and make sure that they don't get us. I assume that we're going to win this moment because they have nothing left, but uh, What's also funny is that we only have anti-air left, as you'll see is when I bring up the little uh, thing. But yeah, Sherman's, they're better than what people give them credit for. Especially the 76s. The, the, the M1 76mm gun is really good. It can deal with Tigers. If I remember right. Well, Tigers aren't exactly well armored. It, it flat. If you angle the armor, they get really good. But most people just hate on them, really. I think it's because uh, what people call them freedoms when they try to turn fight with the P51 and whatnot. I noticed the enemies over there, and none of my friends can penetrate him, so I have to go around to get him from the side because it's AA. Also a lot of people have been hating on the Firefly lately. And I remember having some really good games on the Firefly and I tried to make a video of it and I was having no luck so maybe it's just rose colored goggles. And there I used my super wall hacks to kill the target before the other AA truck could. But, yeah, and then the game's over from there. I think they have an airplane left, and we cap the point. So I don't think we do we get to cap the point. But yeah, this is a decent game in uh, mainly Sherman's. Seven kills, three deaths. Uh, news video coming out probably tomorrow. Uh, there's some ship beta gameplay to be gotten. But uh, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Have a good day.